Martin, are you going somewhere? No, Rose. I was just planning to sit in the corridor. Martin, I would like to let you know that I am planning to attend a parish retreat. What is your opinion? You always go there. Why don't you do some work at home instead? I know you don't like me going to parish retreat. If I don't go, how do I get the knowledge of God? Mommy, how is the knowledge of God passed on? From the beginning, the people of God passed on knowledge of God through stories. Oh, I really like stories, Mommy. Is that we read on Bible? Yes, dear. It was written down in Bible, celebrated in the liturgy, and proclaimed in the church. Hmm. I feel sleepy during the church. Every Christian who lives life with God has a story to tell. Normally, parents and grandparents always pass on their faith in God to their children and grandchildren. You're right, mommy. I know our grandmother always tells me about the story of Moses and Abraham. I also have seen that one of my colleagues tells about Jesus always to our friends. Yes, Martin. Sometimes it's friends who tell us how they discovered God. When Christians talk about how God has showed himself to them or how God has guided and healed them in their lives, they are giving testimony of their faith. Mommy, Can I come with you? I like to hear a lot of stories. Okay, Nikki, then get ready soon. I will get some tea for your daddy. Rose, then I will also come. Maybe my back pain also get healed through this retreat. Oh my goodness, then get ready, Martin. Matthew 28 verse 19 says, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. Therefore, Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hi, dear friends. So, have you learned the song? Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.